Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Intimacy. It is the last week in July, hot and steamy summertime we're having. Um, and it's really great to gather and to continue to connect with one another, to be able to drop in together and, uh, and listen to the most extraordinary people on the planet, I will say, and uh, have them share their gifts and their, sometimes their life stories. And it's always, for me at least, the whole time that we've been doing this since mid-March, it's just been an incredible wealth of connection and learning something new and embracing a new practice um, each time. Some that stick regularly and some that are just now in this big toolbox. Anyway, it's been really, really, um, I feel really blessed. That's how I feel. So with that, I would invite you to have a breath and gently close your eyes and just take a moment, a moment or two or three or five actually to breathe as you close your eyes, I invite you to focus on the exhale and just release anything that's not serving you in this moment, anything that's not uplifting. Maybe it's an energy that you connected with uh, this morning unintentionally. Maybe it's something you saw on media. Sometimes we can't help it or we intentionally do connect to media. Maybe it's something somebody said. I just invite you to lay it down. You can pick it up later. You're at, you're at choice, of course. Uh, but for this moment, I just invite you to, you know, just energetically kind of scoop it up and put it to the side. Notice as you do that, if you're feeling any sensations in your body, and you might bring your hands to that spot on your body whether it's your belly or someplace else that you're feeling any sensation. As you bring your hands there, let's now focus on the inhale. Bringing our attention to the earth, we invite her and her healing source into our own bodies and our hearts. All we need to do is simply ask. That's, that's the thing about the energy from the earth is we just tap in, invite, open, and receive. So just taking on those, um, that invitation for you is to tune in, invite, open and receive that which is uplifting for you this morning. So maybe it's inviting energy in from the earth. Maybe it's connecting with your own guides and angels that are around you. Maybe it's just a good feeling that you're aware of. And as you're breathing, just continue to notice your body and any relaxation, deeper relaxation you can bring in. So you might relax your shoulders. Expand your belly a little bit more and relax your jaw. I think those are the main places that, at least for me, I'm aware of. <laughs> I mentioned the jaw last week. Okay, and let's take a really nice deep breath in, in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> 
We'll do that again. And as you do that, I invite you to relax the jaw, relax your tongue. <sighs> Exhaling and yeah, just allowing some deeper opening, which invites a deeper receiving. And then when you're ready, bring yourself back into the space that you're in right now, the chair you're sitting in, the couch, maybe you're standing. Feel your feet, feel your body in space and gently open your eyes when you're ready. Great, okay. All right, so welcome to Darcy who is joining us from Winnipeg, Canada at an earlier time. Thank you for waking up earlier this morning. And uh, we also have her, her partner, her husband here, Dieter, who's here as well. So I wanna welcome you. And welcome to everybody who's just arriving. Please do say hi in the chat. And I always invite everybody to please put your video on and uh, the reason why is because it keeps the room safer. So even if you're not in front of your camera, like you're just gonna show us the back of the couch or whatever, um, it feels really good to um, have the videos on. So please, if you can, I know that sometimes people can't, but please, if you can, it would be lovely and is lovely because I love seeing you personally. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really, really nice. So good morning, everybody. Hey, Linda, Christopher Blatt, and Amy. All right, so Darcy. Um, I've known Darcy for many years now, mostly through the dance community. And um, I, I, I really delighted in reading what you sent to me, <clears throat> which was your bio, because I don't, I've never read your bio before, but I swear I could have written it myself about myself. Like we've had so many of the same experiences and do similar work. I think you even went to Leslie, right? Did you go to, to Leslie in, in Boston? I did too. So um, yeah, I was reading it and I was like, wow. <laughs> so, you know, what can I say? Of course that makes you an awesome person. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to let you share the part of your, um, your, your history and your bio that you feel is important this morning, just a, a sentence or two for context. And then I'm excited because uh, you chose to talk about the breath and the breath as lover feels mm, yummy to me. So I'm looking forward to this. And, um, and for everybody who's here, I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it again that this is this is about participation. This is a community gathering. So your voice is important here, even though I'm doing the talking right now and Darcy's gonna share in a few, your voice is important. And there'll be moments where we ask you to share. And so you can put the words me in the chat and we'll unmute. Um, love to hear any questions you have, any stories that you have that relate to what we're doing this morning. And um, yeah, just know that, you know, I always imagine us in a big circle, sitting outside together, like on the earth, in the woods, where we would all be, you know, engaging <coughs> our bodies and our hearts, and I would be hearing more of your voices. So, um, so please, I did just say herstory, because <laughs> I'm talking to Darcy. <laughs> um, so that's your invitation. And Darcy, I'm going to turn it over to you in this moment. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, for those that I know here, it's beautiful to watch and see familiar faces. And for those I don't know, I look forward to getting to know you a little bit this morning. Um, my background is I'm a body psychotherapist here in Canada. Uh, I've been doing it for 33 years and I've had a deep privilege and it really is an honor to work with people's bodies and hearts and and really souls to to transform and heal pieces inside of ourselves my my belief system is our body holds our story if we know it or not um, and 
always the puzzle is to kind of co-create together to, to figure out how to release the blockages and the holding patterns that no longer serve us so that we can move forward in life and, uh, and, and receive more joy, more pleasure, more uh, connection, more love. Um, I think we're really here about that. So um, the topic I chose is called Embracing Our Breath as Our Inner Lover. And um, it's really looking at how to work with the masculine and the feminine within ourselves. It's not a gender, it's, it's a part of ourselves. And when we can access the different parts of our breath and begin to harness them and energize them, we can unblock and we can open and we can transcend. And so what I'd like to do this morning in this very short but sweet and deep uh, place is to give you a little bit of teaching that which you may already know, um, and also maybe parts just as a foundation to kind of hold us together. And then the second part is I'd like to give you the experiential of really teaching you the different male and female breath that we're going to practice together, and then we're going to play with it on the third part, which is really taking the elements and our breath and our connection with our own bodies and how to begin to work with it. So I want my hope is that you can come away with some tools to, uh, to explore with yourself, um, both out in nature and anywhere you are in the world. We all have two big desires in my experience in working with people for the last 33 years. One is a deep belonging and to feel connected and a part of something and some, some way where we feel we're connected. The second big desire is to honor and grow our unique self and be able to find ways to kind of express it and share who we are in our own unique individual ways. The difficulty in our world is to have both. To be able to honor ourselves deeply and be able to say yes and no and this works and this doesn't and also feel a sense of belonging and not have to be in competition with it. And so when we can have those two desires and those two deep abilities to work together, we are in unison. We are in intimacy. And if we break down the words intimacy, into me I see, that feeling of being seen and understood and heard and loved, we carry that in our bodies, we carry that in the world. And we have an inner world and we have an outer world. And our inner world is our energy. It's the patterns of connecting to intimacy within ourselves and then with each other. It's our life force. It's the way we grow and expand. And when, once, when a person walks in the room or we meet them for the first time, everyone has an energy and you can kind of pick it up, spoken or not. Our outer world, that's where our patterns show up in our life. And we have four main hurts that we carry in our lives, some more than others. One is a sense of rejection and fear of rejection. One is one of abandonment. One is betrayal and one is deceit. And each of these four stories of hurt, we gather and we carry in our bodies and we hold in our hearts. And so what happens is when we go and we want to relate to people and we've got a story being played or a fear of that happening, we hold back or we replay them. So when we're working with the three bodies of ourselves, because our body is our temple, we talk about the physical body that holds our emotions. It's our ability to receive pleasure and joy and connection. And when we listen to it and really honor it and find out where our yeses and nos are, then we are at peace. We can kind of hear it. And what we eat, how we move our bodies, that all supports our physical body. We also have an emotional body. And this is where we experience our joy and our pleasure and our love. We also house our grief and our loss and our disappointments, our anger, our jealousy, our shame. And I don't know about any one of you, but this summer has been a really mixed blessing of um, incredible amounts of disappointments of things that I had hoped and wished to, to do that we do every summer that no longer is. And I've had to really grieve and loss in my heart some of these and then be able to make room and space to create, okay, well then what's the energy or element I want to create in my life that is not how I want it to be and bring that in. 
And then we've got our spiritual body. And our spiritual body is one that connects to the divine, to our wisdom, and our oneness as a, as a, as a whole. So when we use our breath as an inner lover, we allow these three, four, three bodies to connect and work together as one. They literally like align up and create a portal where we can access a different magical part of ourselves. So we've got the masculine breath and we've got the feminine breath. Let me talk to you a little bit about those th two and then I would like us to move into some breath work. The masculine, when it's an override, and this is true for everyone, everyone has a masculine breath inside. It becomes pushy, it becomes demanding. It's that taking energy that tries too hard, that's dominant, but without heart. We've all had it. We know, we at least have experienced it in relationships where someone is trying to take something from us or we're trying to take something in fear that if we don't take it, we won't get it. Then we've got the underride of the masculine. And that is the, the masculine part of ourselves that can't fully make it happen. Can't get it up. Can't stand, can't take a stand when we need to. Unable to fully erect ourselves and hold a backbone and hold our energy to move through something and penetrate. When the masculine is in balance within ourselves and we have a flow that's happening, we are clear, we are decisive, we are allowed to make things happen, we create and we manifest. We allow things to make happen. So the masculine is our drive, it's our energy, it's the ability to take one idea and move it right through. The feminine, when she's an override, when that part of ourselves is an override, we don't need anybody. We're self-sufficient, there's a controlling compartment, we keep things at bay, we operate in our own sense of self without connection to other or to other ways of being. And there's nothing wrong with any of these things, but when it's, that energy is only operating, it's very difficult to synergize. It's really difficult to interconnect and align. When the feminine is in, in what I call the underride, it's needy, it's clingy, it's don't leave me, it's that victim energy of holding on tight, feeling like if I don't hold on tight, I will never get this. And so it comes from that very insecure holding pattern. And when the feminine is in balance, we receive, we allow, we open, we can fully surrender to not knowing what's coming next, but trust enough that when I move myself out of the way, things will be allowed, will create itself. What we're going for this morning and what we want to play with and work with within ourselves is how do we stay in balance in our masculine and our feminine? How does that dance, that inner lover, begin to create a dance together with our breath to begin to balance out? And each day we're going to kind of connect in and say, ha, ah, okay, this part feels really good, this feels a little off. So we're going to start to invite you to shut your eyes and just choose an area in your life. Just begin to center again and just shut your eyes for a moment. In an area that you might want to find more balance in. Where in your life would you like a little more support, more ease, more expansion? perhaps some clarity and direction. And just see what area kind of pops up. Maybe there's several areas that pop up. Maybe there's one or two. And I want you just to choose one that really is calling to you. It's pulling at your attention, at your focus. And when you've got that, then just open your eyes. And come back in the room. So we're going to work with that area. 
you don't have to share it with anybody or you can share it directly in the chat, chat but but right now we're just going to work with that private area that you want more balance in you would like more connection more ease and flow and we're going to start with the female breath and i'm going to stand up because that way you'll see me and then you can use either stand up yourselves or you can sit down it can be done either way and once you start to learn the breath, you can actually breathe it without even the movements. But right now we're going to work with the movements. So the first breath is like this. We're going to draw from the, our feet all the way up our knees into the pelvis. You're going to lift it up with your hands all the way to the heart. Savor the heart and then offer out to everywhere that request. So you're pulling the breath in all the way up to the heart, and then you're offering it softly and surrender outwards. So work with me here. Try it yourselves. You can sit and or stand and pull in, hold, savor, and soften. And the breath goes in with an inhale, hold, and then exhale, surrender. And the more you can breathe and make sound, the more the breath can flow. It's a rhythm you want to create and allow out. And you take that beautiful issue, that area you want to focus in on and breathe it in and then soften it and let it be and give it out. Bring it to your heart's desire, opening, and then allowing out, <sighs> trusting that it will be looked after, nourishing the breath, and letting the breath nourish you. <sighs> and we want the that head to just let go. All that list that you've created in your to-do list, let it go. Soften. My focus is on my breath. And my breath is breathing me. And now see if you can move your whole body into it. Breathing into the pelvis, up through the heart, savoring it, and then softening and letting go. Oh, it's nourishing. Oh, allowing. Just bringing ease. All is good. All is right. I can let go. I can trust. I can allow that energy to come in and come out through me. And continue that breath on the breath in and then out. And then just see, go back inside, put your hand on your heart and on your belly. And just notice what it feels like to be breathe with that feminine breath. And now we're going to work with the masculine breath. It's a more stronger, forceful, taking breath. So we're going to start from out. And it's like, universe, I want this. I want this really badly, and I'm prepared and ready to do what it takes to make happen. So I'm going to take it in, hold it in my heart, and then push it down through my body 
to the earth. I'm going to push it in and then pull back out. I'm going to take it in. It's mine. I'm ready. I want it. And I bring it through me. The sound come with me. <sighs> Energize my body, awaken it, and through me. <sighs> Let it run through me. <sighs> Open the jaw. Engage the muscles. Ha! Ah. Oh. I welcome you to make the sounds. Ha! Ah. And take this luscious, beautiful energy that's yours to the making. Ha! Ah. I always often use the tiger. A few more breaths. And then just take a breath and allow it to settle or allow that breath to come in and just put your hands on your heart and the belly again. Breathing your body, letting your body breathe your breath. And just see what you're aware of, what you're noticing, what's coming into your body, what you're feeling. As you engage that masculine breath. Now we're going to put them together. Because there are moments in time in our life that we, oh, like that. It says, feels empowering to me. Good. And with the softer, I feel softer around the issue, ready for softness. Good. Opening and love. So now we're going to put them together and we're going to let them begin to breathe and connect and flow together and see what the dynamic is to have that breath become both our yin energy and our yang energy. So we're going to start with the female breath by just allowing it to come right from the ground through our bodies, drawing it in, opening to the heart, and then softening and offering it out. Rest here and then draw that energy in. Hold and savor it and then push it through the body right to the ground. We're using the earth to breathe in through the pelvis up to the heart and offer out and then take that pause and bring it in, savor it and push it down. And now find your own rhythm. Breathing it in, holding, surrendering, let go, <sighs> taking it in, and pushing it down <sighs> through your body. I'm going to allow you to do some breath on your own, finding that rhythm four or five times. and opening, gathering, and pushing down. Each time allowing a little more deeper the energy to run through you. Breathing. 
receive you. One last time. And breathe your hands back to your belly and to the heart. Coming back to the issue you chose or the area you chose. And just notice and become aware of what's happening, what the connection is and what it feels like to be in your body. And I'm going to open up the chat. Anyone who wants to share a little bit about what they noticed, what they felt in their bodies would be really helpful. Yeah, if please I... just put me in the chat if you'd like to share, and we'd love to hear from a couple of you. That was really amazing, Darcy. Tingling, let's hear from Avril. Go ahead and unmute yourselves. Oh. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Darcy. That was um, a very refreshing. What I felt more is um, like healing of whatever was coming up for me with the masculine breath, I think, because it was a little bit more powerful. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I felt like the, the pace and the softness of the female breath gave me time to almost kind of digest things a little bit before I ex spelled it out, I guess. So that was, I was feeling, I was feeling that balance, but more um, from the masculine, I think, letting things go. Good. Thank you. Neil and Darcy, you might want to comment on what Neil put in the chat says he feels left out because he doesn't sense energy, but keep trying and maybe someday. Do you want to unmute, Neil? Darcy, do you, why don't you share first, Neil, and then I have a thought and I sure. Darcy does too. Uh, generally, I don't sense energy, or at least I don't recognize it as such. Uh, at one level, some of these exercises seem silly to me because of that but I know too many people whom I respect for whom it's very real. So I won't take it as being silly, just something that I'm not yet able to uh, partake in fully. And perhaps with practice someday, I'll start to be aware of it more. Do you feel the breath, Neil? Can you feel your breath go in and out? I can feel the physical breath go in and out. Uh, I don't, particularly feel things, you know, coming up from the earth and into the pelvic region. Um, but I do try to imagine that as I'm doing the exercise. Beautiful. That's enough. Honestly, there are many, many ways to, to feel. Um, some people see, some people sense, some people experience, and some people just know. And you might be a knower. And that is completely fine. And there's no way you have to be. As long as it makes sense to you and you can receive it, that is what's required. Being a knower is okay as long as I spell, spell it K-N-O-W-E-R and not just N-O-E-R. Got it. Thank you. For sure. You and it looks like Vlad is, on, Vlad is in the same camp there. And I'm sure there are many more here that that are that experience what you described neil well, thank you for outing yourself and saying that you feel left out because i'm guessing there are other people in fact you might just wave on your camera if you'd like to say like i agree i feel similarly i don't always feel energy i don't always know if it's real i'm raising my hand i don't always know if it's real but i do know that energy follows thought and when you are imagining and thinking just like you described and Darcy said that something is moving. We just can't always see it, feel it, sense it, but we know it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. There's some me's in the chat. I don't know if that's, is that sharing, Dick and Andrew? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's have Dick first and then Andrew. Hi, everyone. Um, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, I feel energy, that's for sure. I've been teaching yoga for some time now. And this um, last four months has been very challenging for me. And I feel even today, I uh, while you've been leading this, um, I've been crying, I've been, and then with the male energy, I'm overwhelmed, my body just gets too energized. Mm. And I, I realize that's what I've been struggling with, thank you very much, um, is too much male energy. And uh, my female side is really screaming to have relief from that. So crying and releasing and producing all those endorphins from crying um, has been huge. And with my wife crying and with my therapist over the Zoom crying a lot. So um, it's been uh, ups and downs all around for me. So thank you very much for sharing uh, that. Uh, I appreciate it. Beautiful. So you brought up such a good point, which is when you are often in one state of being, let's say the masculine energy a lot more or the feminine energy, and you want to balance it, that's when you bring in at any point in time that breath. You can sit in your car and do it. You can go to the earth even better mm -hmm. um, or park or wherever you are, and you just soften into that breath. That brings your body back into alignment. That brings... Yeah connection back in which is what you're saying and if emotions come out beautiful they need to come out it's like a beautiful rainstorm they need to come and clear and that if nothing happens and I just feel rooted beautiful that is something important to happen and sometimes when we use this breath we say I'm going to take both breaths in and sometimes like I'm so in my masculine right this moment I need to just soften into the feminine before I can even balance then you just take the and you just keep working that feminine breath over and over again. Um, so that's how we, you can work with it on a daily basis. Thank you so much. I really haven't um, done this much, this kind of uh, gesturing, which I think is really valuable. Yeah. Sort of like Qigong, sort of, maybe, kind of. But Yeah. yeah. It comes from the tantric traditions of really the intertwining between the masculine and the feminine. And when we can balance that, then we can access all parts of ourselves as well as the divine, all as a way of connecting. We become a vehicle for energetics to come through both interconnected in the earth and also through our, the top of our heads. I get that. Is there anyone else that really has a yearning to speak? Otherwise, I will move to the next part, which is sort of the playing of this with the elements. Uh, let's just check in with Andrew because he had me in the chat. Do oh, you want sure. to yeah. or do you want to? Yeah. yeah. I'll keep it really short. I was just Great. reacting Thanks. to what Neil had said um, about energy where it's been years ago. I also felt the same way, but I had this experience this, and it's been getting better. And this was, I felt this quite a bit. But um, I had this experience this morning I just thought I'd share with Neil, which was um, I, I have this mile walk I make. Um, actually, down, um, Robin thinks it's on a beach, but it's actually down a street and then comes back again. Um, but there are trees all along there. And what I noticed this morning was that as I walked by the trees, each tree, I felt this energetic field around it um, as I passed each one. And, um, and it just kind of happened as I walked by. And so even just maybe just trying to notice that. It, it just came to me to share that with you, Neil, so I just wanted to do that. Thank you. Great. So you, Andrew, just gave me the, the lead in to where I want to go next, which is to use this breath. We're going to play with the breath. I'm going to put a little bit of music on, and I'm going to guide you into the different elements. So we're going to work with water and fire and air and earth. And we're going to intertwine that together so that we can play a little bit with this, both with the elements and the breath. You open to that? Yeah? Great. Yeah, that sounds good. 
So let's start with the female breath again. And the nice part about it is you can do the standing or sitting. It doesn't really matter. Um, whatever, wherever feels most comfortable and where you're at today. You can even do this lying down if you choose to. So start in with the female breath. Draw it in through the ground. In and open through the heart. And then breathe it out. And luxuriate in it. And then pull the breath in, right to the heart. Take what's yours, and then push right down through the ground. And start that breathing. I'm going to begin to start to allow some music to happen. Using your breath. Sound of the music's okay? You can hear my voice? Great. And just let your eyes, this is your own private way of being. Holding that breath all the way up the heart. Letting the water and even caress you. Allow the weight curves. Exhale. Allow yourself to become that water, taking all that you need, taking all that you need, and pushing it down and playing with the waters, letting the waters play with you, your whole body, so easy. Filled up with the water, offer the water out. You draw it in and you push it through your system all the way down to the earth. You can move your body. This is a sensual way of being with yourself. Breath is an inner lover and open and off. Pulling in, letting the toe pull you down. Reaching in, you are the water. fire using that female breath to bring in the fire in my heart the passion feeling that passion as I push it out to the world and offer it 
taking all the gifts I choose and want and need. My heart. And then bringing them down into my body. Back to the earth. Only taking what I need and pulling in, drawing into the pelvis, to our hearts, and offering and surrendering out. Taking in all that is required and desired, feeling. Burning off and release that which is no longer needed. Finding your own rhythm, your own play. Accessing those desires, those wishes and wants and opening to life force, your life force. Taking that life force back into your heart. Back into your body, energizing, healing, and nourishing all the cells. Letting go and bring you back to the earth. Dance of the heart, dance of the soul as you breathe. And offer out. Move now into air. Breathing into the female breath, allowing the expansion. I am air, I am a light body. I receive and open. I am one. I can find my wings to fly and open. Draw in that strength. That I choose to really luxuriate in this beautiful breath, opening, offering, softening, and I have all that I need, letting go of the way it needs to come, and trusting it will find its way as I really welcome. selves to offer us a gift Zach 
exactly for what we need today so we can share ourselves fully thank you breath thank you heart thank you body right hand we ask for exactly for what we want and need place it in our right arm your right hand and with our left hand open we ask for to surrender and allow the form it needs to come in and the way in our best and highest interest to be received the two will come together to our heart and we breathe in and embody ourselves and allow that breath to come through us we are the vehicles guides love just gently wish and welcome you to come back into your bodies just noticing what you feel what you're aware of sensations connections what number you might be at now and then I welcome us to just share a little bit about what that was like And unmute yourself and then just share. Who would like to share? We have a few minutes. I'd love to hear either a word in the chat or or your voice. Nine. Have Marcy. Go ahead. Uh, let's have Emily and then Marcy. Hey, everybody. Hey, um, Emily. I've been struggling with a career situation, and now I have a garbage truck outside. Sorry. Um, and like that last thing that you had us do just like totally overwhelmed me. But like just receiving and putting that together just totally made me start bawling. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so anyway, I don't wanna take up too much time, but I think it, like that, I think I need to bring my masculine in more is another point that I wanted to make. Beautiful, and put everything that's no longer needed in that garbage truck behind you. <sighs> <laughs> the perfect thing to say, Darcy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no accidents there, ever. <laughs> but certainly not that one. Yes. <laughs> Let's hear from Marcy. I had this profound sense of oneness where <clears throat> I was just this open conduit. And what kept coming to me was... Um, this incredible ability to both give and receive simultaneously and how powerful that is. I <clears throat> was totally out of body and yet I was in body. It was really remarkable and a fantastic experience. Thank you so much. How beautiful. That, that's, that you summed it up beautifully. That's exactly what we wanna be. We wanna be embodied, embodied and out of body to receive all the incredibleness that comes because our, our emotions are dense. They're, you know, especially the heavier ones like anger and hurt and disappointment. And when we can move through them and move up and expand, a whole new world is out there to receive, mm -hmm. even in this pandemic, even more so. Yeah. Yeah, I had a column of white light that just extended my entire being. And it was just this constant exchange. It was amazing. Thank you, really, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, beautiful. 
Uh, we're just a time, Doug. Do you have a word or two you want to say out loud? I see you put me in the chat. I'd love to hear your voice for a few seconds if you've got it. Still there, Doug? Yeah, so I, I, I experienced the masculine as uh, kind of powerful and, and the feminine as really graceful. And when we do them together, I just um, really felt a lot of grace coming from the feminine breath. And what was cool is that when we were just doing the masculine by itself, it felt powerful, but it, it felt a little forceful, but then when we did them together, it was kind of like the grace and the feminine combined with the powerful of the masculine, and it just um, it just felt much better to me. It was sort of like blending the feminine and masculine, and um, so I don't know if the point of the exercise was to separate them, and I'm not sure that worked very well for me. I kind of blended them together, but, um, but it worked really nicely, and it felt, felt really beautiful. Beautiful. The idea is actually to Thanks, know them both really clearly and know their gifts and when you need each one and then how to integrate them. So you're absolutely right. Both are required. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I'll, I just, we're out of time, but wow, that was really powerful for me. Like really powerful. I, I had like similar to what Marcy said or the not not the same experience, but the um, depth of the healing that happened in such a short amount of time. Wow, um, that was really beautiful, like really powerful. Okay, <laughs> it's a great way to start the day. Wow, thank you. That was amazing, Darcy. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Really. Whew. Okay. Hard to focus after that, but I want to say thank you to you mm. and to everybody who came and ah, continues to play on this incredibly healing playing field we've created together. Um, invite your friends, invite your puppies, invite your kids, um, but really invite other people to come because I think this has just been inc incredible and August is, is rich and beginning next week. So, um, so thank you for being here. Of course, the recording will be sent out later and uh, how to contact Darcy will be sent out later. She has an email list where she's sharing the things that she's offering these days online. And um, I would love an expanded version of what we did, although what we did was like <laughs> powerful in a half an hour, so or 40 minutes, but that was just great. So thank you so much, and I will see all of you next week. Have a really blessed day today. Mwah. Take the balance with you. Take the healing with you. It will keep unfolding, that's for sure. Mm. Have a great day, everybody. I can un <laughs> un unmute everybody so you can just say hi and bye. <laughs>